2006, Ashton Hayes embarked on its uh, Going Carbon Neutral project and through behaviour change we saved 20% of our energy use. Then the community wanted to go to renewables and to do that we needed more expert advice on the implications of installing renewables and Scottish Power has held our hand over all these years to help us devise that strategy. So the existing electricity network was built several decades ago. For the most part it's done a very good job, it's been very reliable, very safe. Largely this was down to the loads on the network, the demands on the network being very predictable and we understood what was required from the network. Uh, but going forward over the next decade or so, there's an expectation that we are going to start to adopt low carbon technology within our homes. And as we do this en masse, it potentially could cause instability on in our electricity network, um, such as the addition of new loads from heat pumps or electric vehicle charging pills that the network wasn't designed to accommodate. As well as this, there's an expectation we're all going to start generating our own electricity. So where do you all see all this going then in terms of, do you think we will have to do major upgrades or do you think we can, we can actually manage this in an effective way? It's very unpredictable at the moment. We do not know what the uptake of electric vehicles and heat pumps are going to be. But what we have seen is the photovoltaic arrays come in en masse with the feed-in tariff. Uh, it's slowed down a little bit at the moment, but I'm sure it's not going to go away. With Ashton Hayes, what we've started to do is monitor the, the network in intricate detail, and it's been able to, to assess what the impact of the electric vehicles, heat pumps, PV have been on our networks. So then we can scale that up in models to understand what the future, the future networks will look like and what the strains put on the network will be. And from that, we can then try and design some solutions to accommodate more and more to our networks. Now, now Martin's put these panels on his roof, Jeff, and you've been monitoring every quadrant of the village for quite a long time now. Why is the monitoring useful to our solar panel development? What we've been able to learn from the monitoring and the modelling of the village is that we can actually accommodate a lot more photovoltaics by some simple changes to our network which are quite cost effective and we can take the learning from Ashton Hayes and take that to other communities and other areas of our, of our licensed area. SP Energy Networks is a distribution network operator. So what this means is it doesn't matter who you pay your electricity bill to, we supply the electricity to your community. This is a typical ground mounted substation. What we've got in the corner is a switching unit that takes 11,000 volt cables in. You can just see these red ones here. Passes them along to this transformer which steps the voltage down from 11,000 volts to a lower voltage. And here we have a low voltage distribution board. In this case we've got five cables leaving the board each of those cables supplying an individual street. So where this substation differs from our usual substation is that we've now added network monitors to the substation. And what the monitor does is it actually monitors the total demand on the transformer of the substation and compiles that into a daily report which is communicated to my computer wirelessly. The reports produced by the monitoring equipment enables me to see the exact demand profile for this substation and more importantly it enables me to see if our substation and our electricity network is meeting the demands of the village. The main benefit of this project is from the community engagement aspect is that over the last two or three years we've been able to establish a real relationship with the community and it really enables us to be open and honest with each other uh, and as we've generated a good level of trust which means we can pick up the phone or drop an email to any of the guys in the community, run some ideas, pass them, see what they think, likewise they can pick up the phone or drop me an email and discuss the future plans for the village and I'll tell them what I think of them and if there's any way we can help them. Hi, you okay? Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Jeff was really good. He understood that he had to engage with the community, take the time. He brought in his students to help explain things in a very layman's language. And it's a whole new ball game for engineers who've just been used to keeping the lights on, maintaining the wires. And I think some engineers probably learn quicker than others. And Jeff was really a quick learner when it came to being an approachable person that the village could talk to. We started off with, with doing the simple things and, and that's simple behaviour change and, and, and at the very start it was simple things like low energy light bulbs, closing your curtains at night, 
but we mustn't lose sight of those are still important. And that message, I think, has become embedded because the community is much more aware of doing those and asks us where we're going to move on to next. It does say empowers you to stand up and explain what you've been trying to do. And because you value what the community has done, it's really great being able to explain that to other people. Mm. And the kind of feedback that you get is, wow, that's amazing. And we mm. might be doing extraordinary things, but we, you know, anybody can do that. I, I just really like the open way Scottish Power has engaged with us, they've shared data, and they're really helping us to look forward to how we're going to plan the future of the village from an energy viewpoint. The fact that Ashton Hayes think of the network at the start of most plans now is really great for us. Improves the uh, our business process a lot. Obviously, if we're aware of your plans ahead of time, it enables us to start building our network and improving our network to be receptive to the photovoltaics, and we, we enable your connections rather than prohibit them. As a village, we've really enjoyed the investment you've made. We've learned a lot, but has it helped you to save any money? I think in the long term, it will. I think with Ashton Hayes, it falls into the lines of our philosophy, starting small, thinking big, and scaling fast, and, and Ashton Hayes was that starting small process. So all the good learning from how we monitored Ashton Hayes has already been deployed in a follow-up project. Uh, the second aspect is the community engagement side and obviously we've learned lots of good lessons from interacting with the community in Ashton Hayes, what works, what doesn't work uh, and we're looking to deploy that sort of learning in a, a follow-up project. Well thanks a lot Jeff. We've come a long way in Ashton Hayes, we've now developed into a community which really thinks about sustainability and everything it does. And we need to work with people like Scottish Power to understand how to do this in the best way. When we do that, we'll share it with everybody else. This is one of the very first innovation projects we've done centred around the low voltage network and the key findings from this project are now being trialled elsewhere and we've got great hope that these findings will ultimately save us a significant amount of money and also benefit communities connected to our network.